Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to show you how to add tab stops to an existing Microsoft Word document. I have a section called Add Costs with three lines below it that all end in numbers. So a decimal tab stop would be ideal. The first thing to do is to turn on your ruler. So go to the View tab, which I've already clicked on. Check Ruler. Now the ruler is running across the top of my screen. You have to decide where you want the tab stop. Looking at the ruler, I'm going to pick the 5 inch mark. So I'm going to highlight the three lines. I'm going to go back to the Home tab. There's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going a little bit the long way. I'm going to hit the arrow for Paragraph. Tabs is in the bottom left corner. I want it at the 5 inch mark. If it has decimal places or numbers, pick decimal. Click on Set. Click on OK. Look at the number 5 in my ruler. It's an upside down T with a dot. That's a decimal tab stop. But it looks like nothing happened. Well, i got to click in front of the dollar sign and hit the Tab key on the keyboard. Tab again. Click in front of the dollar sign. Tab again. I still don't like the way it looks. I'm going to highlight the three lines. Go back to Paragraph. Go back to Tabs in the bottom left. I have a leader number one which says none. Leader number two is a favorite. It's a dot leader. Click on OK. If you don't like the five inch mark, you can now highlight them. Up in the ruler, I'm going to just simply drag it. It says decimal tab. And I can put it wherever I want to. Then I'm going to put it at the four inch mark. Hopefully that helps you with your decimal tab stops, especially if you've been hitting the period multiple times, the decimal places rarely line up and I don't have any decimals in here but you can see if I do it'll always line up exactly where the decimal point is. Thank you for your time.